Hi everyone, it's Razel Kane. I'm back with another tour review, and today we're going to review Slammer, which I've just picked up from DJC Collectibles, my favorite online stores, because he's in the Ottawa area, and I don't have to pay shipping because I can pick it up. That's a plus. Until Slammer was announced, I did not know who he was. I saw him on my poster from Mike Larber that I got, and it's the whole G1 scaling thing. I'll throw in a picture. You can see here, I'll try to zoom in properly, here is Slammer. That's the only thing I knew about Slammer. And then I also discovered that there was a guy called Scamper. I was a big Metroplex fan as a kid, but never knew that there was accessories uh, that made appearances. I knew about Six Gun a little bit, because he had a speaking line. I don't even know if Slammer had a speaking line, because all we knew was his tank mode. But, that being said, I could not resist the lure of that figure. It, it just drew me in. I really like the way he looked. He's a weaponizer and I think that's fun to have a weaponizer amongst all the fossilizer that I did not pick up. I had no attachment to them. They look good but Slammer just really called to me and eventually I want to get a Metroplex and I want to get all of his accessories or companions. So Slammer was a must. So it's already opened and we're gonna take a look at it but today I'm gonna to do what I did with my pipes and huffer video. I'm actually gonna review Six Gun and Slammer at the same time because I never did a review on uh, Six Gun and I think he's also a good figure. He's super loose though and the joint limbs they just keep falling off but eh, live with it. He looks good on display. So now let's take a look at these two guys. You got dinosaur electrons in your circuit, Skylinks. And now to take a look at what's in the box. Not much. I don't think Siege had a gimmick. If there was, I didn't find it. Earthrise had that gimmick where you could find a planet with that little red cellophane thing and Kingdom has the uh, card, but I really don't think Siege had a gimmick. I think you could say that the Siege gimmick was the Battle Masters, but when you buy the figure itself, there wasn't any addition except for the instruction. And the instruction are See, I don't usually spend much time on the instruction, but I think it's good that they show you these A, B, C, D, E here so that they can show you after that how you can weaponize characters using the different combination. And of course, you can also, you know, make your own. Same thing with Slammer here. Sorry for the noise. And here you go. A, B, C, D, E, F. Hey, we get an F, and you, they show you on Wheeljack how to do all of those, you know, different weaponizing. So it's pretty cool. Instructions are very clear for both, and actually to transform those, I need the instructions. I can't recall how to transform them just in their actual alt mode, but from memory, there I have a blockage, I guess. Uh, comes with, of course, another Predacon. I don't know if I have more of him or the Dynamus or the Black Arachnia one. Don't care at this point. And uh, the box itself, uh, the Siege artwork really started the whole thing. Uh, really nice. Uh, more plastic because, you know, Asbro wasn't as environment friendly earlier uh, in the decade. See, they show you a different character that can use the weaponized stuff. Uh, great artwork, uh, not artwork, but product shots. Really like those. Siege artwork on the side. Did they have cameo characters on this? Probably. Sorry, I'm doing this. I'm looking off camera. Not, not that much. And then for Slammer, the box, great artwork. I like the fact that we have less plastic, more art. It's, it makes throwing these away so much harder. I already couldn't, but it's 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 even worse now. Uh, great product shots and how to weaponize with pipes, which I've reviewed previously. Uh, any cameo characters? Not that I can spot that quickly. Anyway, and now taking a look at the figures. And yes, this is how I display my six gun because he's actually one of the rare one that can do that kneeling pose properly because of the way uh, his foot uh, flips and he has that extra peg not peg but that you know something protruding from the knee so he's able to be very stable to do that kneeling shooting pose and i've actually put him in his actual uh, descriptive uh, robot mode because i usually take these two guns put them up here and take this gun and move it on on the side 
no, and move it under so that it gives us more of a uh, dual gun shooting stuff. So I like it. And then Slammer, I don't know how I'm going to display him yet, maybe as a weaponizer, but I think I'm going to keep him like this because he actually looks really good. He's very, very unique. We haven't seen a mold like this. We haven't seen a tank that looks like this, but this robot to me is extremely different. And I, I enjoy a lot of variety. I'm a big fan of repaints of, and retools, but to have a unique mold is always something interesting, as long as it's done well. And now articulation, of course, they're very articulated because of all the gimmick they have within them. And the problem that I find is that it creates a lot of looseness. I don't know if Slammer is gonna have the same problem, but my six gun is already very loose and legs, the legs just fall off and anyway, we'll see. Let's take a look at six guns for articulation. I'm gonna straighten them up, push this one back there we go we have room to play so the arms will rotate like this 360 but there's no because he pops off there's no articulation uh, back and forth there is an up and down if you remove these shoulder will go up but then also you can do a bigger shoulder move and you know he's completely uh, articulated um, Okay, legs will rotate because they pop. They're very loose. They bend at the knee, 90 degrees. Toe will flip up uh, because of uh, one of the modes that you can weaponize. And then you have a good ankle rocker. You don't have an actual back and forth with him. And the head will rotate 360. Uh, what else? Waist swivel, of course, because again... Oh, no, actually, you can't pop the waist. See? This is what I mean. Uh, they just... At one point, I remember, I did not know which one was the right and which one was the left. I had to look it up. And then you have uh, these things here, those cannons that move a little bit. Um, the elbow. And then this, you can remove. I actually prefer to put the gun like this. And like this, I think it gives, it looks more, it looks like there's more firepower in that. But maybe that's just me. So anyway, this is the articulation for six gun. Come on, see, it's all loose and everything comes off pretty easily. But, you know, it's, it's part of the game. Now, Slammer, head will rotate 360, arm will rotate again they pop off so they don't do the flip uh, the elbow will rotate and bend you can remove this gun there's no hand rotation uh, there's a peg here to for the cannon and from some for some weaponizing stuff uh, legs uh, there the legs don't remove here they remove this way but they're tight. This he has a, a good waist rotation. Leg will go this forward, backwards would go more because they're held because of the kibble in the back. Uh, it's kind of a weird rocker, but you have one. You don't have a back and forth. You have a more than 90 knee bend. Things get us in the way in this thing, but looks awesome uh, paint application for both are of course very different it's different mold uh, the black on white on top really good with mixing with the red looks great the silver highlight black highlight and all the molded details are really good I mean they did a really good job with six gun which again is a figure from season three that I had to research where's this guy coming from. I didn't actually see him, re recall him in the show. But he was there in the episode Thief in the Night where Triptychon steals stuff and Metroplex is suspected or blamed by the humans, but they found the Dinobot tray. So Six Gun interrogates all of the Dinobots and Skyling too much of his displeasure. Slammer, paint application, very different face sculpt. And, you know it's not used on any other model I like the blue visor uh, the black highlights everywhere really good and that color of I'm colorblind so this is a beige gray 
That's as best as I can describe it. It looks gray, but it also there's a well on camera. I'm looking at the camera now instead of the figure, and it's uh, it, it looks really gray, but off camera, it there's a beige into it in my colorblind eyes. So if you're colorblind, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the great molding here, but I wish the hand would move. That would be a plus. And the gun tip, uh, it's you know it's nice. Some details. Um, I really like the treads on this, the tank treads here, they don't move, uh, there's actually no wheels either to fake roll, um, and then the, these, uh, I don't know, Lego parts, uh, that looks really good, of course, empty in the back, bit of a kibbling, and this highlight here, he's, he's a really, I like him. I don't know, I, he really is good looking. And of course the Autobot logo, so that we know that they're the good guys. Because armed like that, it could scare a few humans. And now for some size comparison, these are both deluxes, so let's compare Six Gun with Siege Rumble. And if you think that's Frenzy, I'm sorry, you're wrong. And Kingdom Rodimus Prime. And now let's see Slammer with G1 reissue Bumblebee, the first Transformer my wife bought me, and Siege Astro Train or Earthrise Astral Train. I think I got the Siege box. Anyway, love this figure. He's my first Decepticon, and people have been giving the shuttle mode a hard time. I don't care. He's fantastic. And I love these guns. And now for transformation. This is gonna be very tricky, so I need everyone to really pay attention. We're gonna start by removing the guns. And what we're gonna do is I don't know, flip this back and you're supposed to turn the head and flip it like this and there you go. whoa, okay, well, wrong segment, this is the weaponizing stuff and uh, this is what Hasbro suggests you do with all of the parts if you want to, you know, have the A, B, C's, D's and F's that they mention so that you can actually weaponize your characters. And, uh, well, I guess we can show you a couple weaponization options. So here they are in weaponized mode. Ironhide, a true badass with a chainsaw and a cannon and some missile pods. That's actually the only weaponized mode for Slimer that is suggested in the instruction. While Six Gun has three. There's a high precision launcher gauntlet, which looks terrible. And there's a defensive layout, but I chose to put a, the offensive layout to Trailbreaker and yeah, I'm pretty offended. So I think the suggestions are okay, but I think kids or adults with a lot more creativity could do something really amazing. So now let me de-weaponize them and put them back together in alt mode. Perceptor's probably right. Crypticon's the only Decepticon big enough to have carried off all those buildings. And now in alt mode, I remember that I don't like to transform this guy, but the molding is fine. The paint applications are good, doesn't hide the robot well at all. You have clearly the arms and the hands on the side, the legs are folded, so he's just putting himself in a kind of fetal position uh, to go in battle, so I guess he's scared. But everything is a little loose, I mean he's one of the first weaponizer, uh, him and I think Cog, so put it back, I prefer this one. He's a little loose, I have to say, like if I move this a little bit, the cannon becomes unpegged, but he's original. You can push it back like this if you want, or it goes like this, but the moment you move it, this loosen up. Maybe Kiki will help. And uh, you know, you have Lego connectors, kind of, not really, in the back. Looks okay, that, that tread, the tank tread. Mm most amazing I have to say I dig it and there's some little wheels here and here so that uh, well he mostly slides I don't think they roll that well but he's a really good mode I I like this 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 tank I didn't actually pick warp uh, pick up warpath because never was a big fan of warpath uh, maybe down the, the road I will but I prefer this one this is a, I don't know, more original tank than uh, Warpath or even Blitzwing. Uh, I like him. 
so there you go guys both of these figures in alt mode let's do some size comparison let's go with the uh, six gun first with buzzwordy bumblebee origin bumblebee and core class Soundwave with toy hacks decals and now for slammer with Earthrise Sunstreaker and Siege Spy Patrol Radbat in cassette mode. And now let me put them back in robot mode so that we can do my final thoughts. Okay, finally got it back together and this will lead us to our French word of the day. Arm, which means weapons, because that's what these guys are, living weapons. And eventually I'll have a Metroplex and maybe a Scamper to have the complete set. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!